ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبد ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته how's everybody doing alhamdulillah all right before we uh, continue with ayah number 20 i was getting a few questions about the quiz um so i want to make two things clear i hope i remember the two points that i wanted to talk to you about ek to ye tha that some of the questions in the last quiz could have had more than one right answers yes yes itna bada yes aa raha hai ji so how do you decide which one to put there you can have your answers also ji you can have your answers also the one that is left in the very smart season anybody else my online students how do you decide between two right answers come on guys notes what we have discussed in the class is what we expect you to write so please don't go and google and see ke acha iska kya jawab hai aur wo likh diya your answer might be right but you're not following you were not following what was taught in the class if you lose something you face some calamity is ke upar zara sab kafi confuse hote we usually say inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun yeah but what we talked in the class was what but predominantly we inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi bilkul kahin pe by the way baat hui hogi main jo topic uske upar to maine bahut lambi baat ki thi why we need to do alhamdulillah we are pleased we are satisfied with allah's qadar and therefore we say alhamdulillah alhamdulillah ana kulli hal bhi keh sakte hain bilkul aur alhamdulillah bhi keh sakte hain that was the answer so what i'm trying to tell you is that when you feel that there are two answers to a question you we basically want to see if you you mentally present in the class or not but you there when you know the instructor talked about a certain point for maybe like 2 3 minutes to uske basis ke upar aapne jawab dena hai theek hai that's the first thing and i the second thing kya thi main bhul gayi mujhe beech mein yaad aata hai to main batati hu inshallah yeah 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 i i remember some of you halaki ye baat ho chuki hai after the first quiz you're not scrolling left to right to see other options i got a message this morning and she was not able to scroll the bar you have to move the bar niche laptop pe ideal to ye ke laptop pe ja ke quiz kare but you you if if a bar is showing at the bottom then you it means that you have to scroll it left to right to see all the options given to you but your word bank hai wo pura aapko nazar nahi aa raha phone pe karenge to bilkul bhi nahi nazar aayega and that is the reason some of you lost uh, some points because you didn't know there was other options theek hai to first quiz mein hua tha second quiz mein bhi kuch logon ke sath hua hai So these are the two things that you have to keep in mind in future, inshallah, Taala. And I'm sure this goes for Shaila's class as well. ठीक है? अच्छा जी. So last week we were literally on ayah number twenty. We couldn't move forward because, alhamdulillah, so many lessons, such powerful lessons coming from just one ayah, ayah number twenty. Um. So what is Allah Subhanahu Taala saying? Baja amin al aqsal Madina ti rajuni yas aqala ya qamit tabi ul mursalin. And there came. from the farthest end of the city a man running he said oh my people follow the messenger humne bahut si baatein ki thi and in the end i was talking about how according to many scholars this man is providing the disbelievers with three pieces of evidences three pieces of information about these three messengers as to why it is absolutely essential for them to follow to follow what they had to say to believe in what they had to say और एक हमने कर लिया था विच इज कमिंग इन आई एन नंबर ट्वेंटी एंड दी अदर टू पीसेज ऑफ एविडेंस इज कमिंग इन आई आर ट्वेंटी वन जो आज हम करेंगे इन शाह सो द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट ही मैंशन वॉज दैट दे आर अल मुसलीन मुसलीन इफ यू रिमेंबर शुरू में बिल्कुल हमने सुर यासीन ने किया था वहां पर भी ये वर्ड मुसलीन आया था वेन यू यूज द वर्ड रसूल और मुसलीन इट इज प्रिडोमिनेटली फोकसिंग ऑन वेर दीज जेंटली मैन आर कमिंग फ्रॉम हु इज सेंडिंग द मैसेज it is focusing on the higher authority so just by calling them al mursalin 
this man is telling them that your first object kya the first objection you human beings coming with you know a message from god he would have sent angels so he's saying no they are al mursalin and i think last class mein maine aapko ek lame si example bhi koi deke bataya tha uh, you know for example ek aur main de deti hu sabin and sara are sitting next to next and uh, next to each other and uh, sara says to sabin you know uh, the next test is on the 26th of january theek hai sabin ko kehti hai as compared to sara saying that last class mein the teacher said that the test is going to be on the 26th of january please don't 26 nahi koi aur date hai mai same example de 27th acha theek hai to wo kahenge wo to aapne bol diya to you said follow the talk <laughs> so what will have more more level of seriousness or what would be more accurate or what would have more weight for sabin something that is coming from the teacher rather than what sara is telling sabin ठीक है, so al mursalin in and of itself is a very powerful indication that they are coming with the message from Allah subhanahu wa taala. अच्छा, दूसरी चीज़ क्या है? दो, दो अदर थिंग्स कमिंग इन आयन 21. इत तबियू मल्लम यस अलूकुम अज़रम वहुम मुहतदून. Follow those who do not ask of you any payment. That's number two. And the third piece of evidence is what वहुम मुहतदून. And they are rightly guided. Both the things again. रनिंग ट्रांसलेशन में आई डोट अबाउट यू गाइज लेकिन मैंने जब भी रनिंग ट्रांसलेशन की है आई मीन नो ब्रेनर ठीक है ये भी बता दी ये भी बता दी ये भी बता दी लिटरली कभी कभी ये फीलिंग होती है आई मीन कमॉन वी नो दैट वाई इज अल्लाह सुबाना तला स्पेलिंग अ फ्यू थिंग्स आउट थ्रू दिस मैन दिस इज वेर वी नीड टू गो इन टू इन डेप्थ वर्ड बाई वर्ड इन सी वर्ड दॉलर्स है तो ये जो दो पीसेज ऑफ जो इन्फॉर्मेशन यहाँ पे आ रही है वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ The second is what he said. Man la yas alukum ajara. Isko pehle dekh lete hain that they do no, do not want any return from you. These messengers, if I say that these messengers were providing with a form of service to the society, would you agree with me? Service provide kar rahe the? Yes. yes. You. What is service? What is service? Any kind of work. a contribution to the society we your where you're spending your time your effort your intelligence your talent your capability your capabilities your resources to better the society that's a service a doctor bhi service provide karta hai teacher bhi service provide karti hai army air force all of these units that we have they they provide us with some form of service service ko pehle samajh le kya hai are we clear about what service is acha so Do you agree with me that these messenger or any prophet who came to this world were providing some form of service to the mankind? किसी को doubt है तो अभी हाथ उठाएं. Online students भी उठा सकते हैं. Service है, हाँ service है. अच्छा ठीक है. So when you provide with service, what do you get in return? Anything, some form of payment coming back to you. कोई भी फॉर्म फॉर्म ऑफ सर्विस देख लें सो डू यू थिंक दीज प्रॉफिट्स वर एलिजिबल फॉर सम फॉर्म ऑफ पेमेंट कमिंग बैक टू दैम वर दे वर दे एलिजिबल माय क्वेश्चन इज वर दे एलिजिबल वर दे एलिजिबल फॉर सम फॉर्म ऑफ पेमेंट इन दिस दुनिया इन दिस दुनिया सब आधे परेशान इधर उधर आंखें घुमा घुमा के देख रहे हैं ऑफ कोर्स दे वर स्पेंडिंग देयर रिसोर्सेज देयर टाइम देयर एनर्जी right that precious 24 hours that you and i have jo hum hazul cheez mein uda dete hain they were spending it you know giving something very very beneficial to the humanity theek hai service tha so even if they were to uh, be paid for what they were offering you know it would have been completely justified are you with me on this yeah. acha but these messengers are not asking for even a justified return are you with me on this theek hai the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam i told you parallel theme humne stories chalani hai the story in the quran uh, what was happening uh, in the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and what are we supposed to do what happened in the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there were a lot of people who brought a lot of gifts agar if you've been through sira they brought a lot of gifts What did the messengers and the Nabi Sallam do with those gifts? Always, did he always distribute them? 
Sometimes he used to distribute them. And there were times when he would use a small part of it, okay, and then distribute the rest to the other people. Why would he use a small part of it? Yes, yes, to make other people happy. Okay, and this was the nobility of the Messenger وسلم, that he would mostly just give it. And by the way, if somebody gives you something and you come to know later on that, oh, she passed it on to another person, never feel offended because it was part of Sunnah, right? So it is so you for uh, at, in, in reality, Prophet وسلم, or people with, with the right intentions are probably passing it on because it's so beloved to them. And they want someone else to have it. Okay? Okay. They do not ask of you any payment. Apparently, it's a very, very easy translation. At least I found it very straightforward, easy translation. But it is said to be one of the most misunderstood ayahs of the Quran for the Muslims. Why? What is the reason? People say, uh, the Quran says that the messengers, they never ask for any kind of compensation. Even for Prophet tell them that you don't want anything, you're not expecting anything from them. So they say, today you guys are doing dawa work, which is part, which is sunnah. Why do you charge fee for your programs? And it's a very valid question. And I'll give you a little disclaimer here before you start questioning me on this. <laughs> what we charge you is not going into anyone's pockets. Do you know that? It's not going into anyone's pocket. It is used as a resource that is needed to overcome, you know, to take care of all the costs. Yeah, AC hai, yeah, light hai, building hai, sab kuch hai, aana hai, jana hai, there are quite a lot of things. It's not profit-based program. Having said that, even if somebody would ask for a fee that would go into someone's pocket, is that right or wrong? It's right. Okay. Uh, but what do people say? People say, you know what? You should be ashamed of yourself. You are selling the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for so, such a small price. Have you heard people saying that? You haven't heard people saying that? You, know? you have? Quite a lot of people. What do we do? What do we do? Quran padha ke raise maang rahe? Quran padha ke chemistry teacher se compete kar rahe? How much do we pay to the Maulana Saab who comes to the class? To, yeah, online nagar padha rahe. How much do you pay as compared to what you pay to the chemistry teacher or the physics teacher? Think, think about it. Think about it. Right? And why do they say that you're selling ayat? Let me just share that with you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Maida and in other places as well, he says, Wala tashkaru bi ayati al And do not sell my ayat for a small price. Therefore, this is one of the most misunderstood ayat of the Quran, of the entire of the Quran. This is what scholars say. So let me just try and explain what this means. So we are absolutely clear in our minds. <laughs> Prophet <clears throat> once sent a companion, a very brilliant companion, Musa bin Zubair, to Medina. They were, they were in, located in Makkah, and he sent Musa bin Zubair to Medina. Um, and why did he send him there? To teach the Quran. He came from a very, very rich family. But guess what? The kind of hardship these people had in times of Prophet ﷺ. When he reverted to Islam, he was completely cut off from all the finances. No money. So much so it is said that when he was martyred in the Battle of Badr, the piece of coffin that they the, the coffin that we had they had it was so small that when they would try the co to cover the top part of Musa bin Zubair his feet would show when we, they would try and cover the feet the top would show ye hal tha okay acha so when he sent Musa bin Zubair when he was alive to Medina what do you think he was supposed to have for breakfast what do you think he was supposed to have for lunch? What do you think he was supposed to have for dinner? How would he survive? 
ठीक है सो वॉट प्रॉफिट सलम डेड वॉज दैट ही गेव हिम अलरी ही गेव हिम अलरी फॉर वॉट टू टीच द कुरान to teach the quran right and this is a very solid good proof that there is absolutely nothing wrong in uh, you know uh, asking or charging fee for teaching any part of the quran it could be tafsir it could be uh, you know hives it could be tajweed anything no issues whatsoever the question is then what does it mean when allah subhanahu wa taala says that don't uh, sell the ayat of the quran for us for a small price what does that mean what that means is that let's say there is an aya in a quran which is a very hard pill to swallow for that particular society you are a speaker you are doing dawa work and there is and there are a lot of parts of the quran which are like which makes people very uncomfortable they are unhappy if you give them straight on their faces this is what allah subhanahu wa taala means they're not going to they don't like it it disturbs them because it requires them to make serious lifestyle changes and they're not willing to do that okay so if you want to still be called again and again if you want a lot of people to come and sit for your sessions if you want to be popular if you want to be famous if you want to be praised by people what do you think you're going to do what are you going to do you are going to say something that's going to really please them if you want to be popular you're going to say something that will bring a smile on their face you're not going to talk about ayas that are very con so called controversial they're not but they say it's controversial theek hai and the small price is what the pleasure of uh, of people the acceptance of society for you unki wah wah that's the small price right likewise you understand this part of the aya in surah yasin allah subhanahu wa taala saying that you follow them because they are not asking anything in return this absolutely no vested interest acha um now whenever a prophet came to a society usually there was one solid serious problem over there and that problem became such a big problem that it became the norm in the society and talking against it would put you in trouble that became the norm it became the fashion do you think it's easy to talk about it that particular thing hmm it's not like for 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 example nowadays even in our part of the world openly talking about homosexuality is becoming more and more difficult and we are talking about a muslim state what do you think luth alayhi salam he had the same problem in the society homosexuality ka masla tha na right and people it most of the people were okay with it it had become a norm and that is when allah subhanahu wa taala sends a prophet because bilkul hi jo kehte na ke saying something against it becomes almost impossible theek hai so do you think he still when he talked about it openly do you think he got a lot of heat for it he did he did so when you speak about something that the entire society is obsessed with they are glorifying it it is not easy to talk against it it will never be easy so if you want money if you want fame if you want acceptability in the society what is a safe mode to be in have a very benign talk you are going to talk about um, <clears throat> uh, being kind to parents nobody is going to object to that at least ab tak nahi hai you're going to talk about taking care of your neighbors nobody is going to throw tomatoes and you know eggs on you wa wa ho gayi baat you talk about importance of prayer nobody is going to have any issues whatsoever right why because these are not controversial subjects for them because if if you are not going to keep yourself away from the controversial subjects what's going to happen you'll be in serious trouble right well this was the job of the messengers throughout in history they came up to take on the subjects that were very difficult to talk about theek okay? hai um they would just clear in black and white give the verdict of allah subhanahu wa taala to them over and over and over again they would do that right and this would offend the society but they never cared about it 
सही है सो हियर वट ही सेंग इज फॉलो द वर्स हु रियली डोंट केयर अबाउट देयर ओन सेफ्टी दे रियली डोंट केयर अबाउट देयर ओन पॉपुलरिटी दे डोंट केयर इफ इन 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 दिस मोड दे गेट कंप्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉइड दे दे नॉट बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट इट so you follow them is that a good reason to follow somebody if the aqeeda is good yeah and they are they have the courage to speak up about it do you think we should be following them baat bhi sahi hai aur kaha bhi bahut confidence ke sath ja raha hai without thinking about themselves and their family members or anybody right so there are basically two very solid lessons in just this small little part a we must if there is somebody teaching the deen to you we must respect them if they don't want popularity right and they don't care you know if uh, you know they'll get destroyed they, they just don't care about it we have to and we should take them seriously because they don't have any vested interest this in and of itself is a very very powerful thing for anybody to understand baat sahi hai ab ye nahi hai ki somebody has the courage to talk about something which is not part of islam we're talking about the content being right from the quran and sunnah and that person has the courage to speak up that's one thing the second thing is in the work of deen if possible do it voluntarily if possible why so that because we are human beings we can very easily our nafs can get tilted towards one side you know you can just kind of very conveniently avoid a subject a topic and it it might become a fitna for you so if possible if not needed it is safer it is safer to not charge for your own pockets right and do it as you know as a responsibility uh, of a muslim do you agree with that और अगर जरूरत तो फिर क्या करेंगे यू आर गोइंग टू चार्ज अच्छा कमिंग टू द थर्ड थिंग वाहम मुहतदून आई मीन आई वाज लाइक थिंकिंग अबाउट इट दैट यू नो दैट दे आर डेफिनेटली गाइडेड अब इसके अंदर क्या स्कॉलर्स ने क्या काम किया होगा हाउ वुड दे काइंड ऑफ हाउ वुड दे फाइंड दिस सो इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दिस पर्सन हु इज द ओनली वन स्टैंडिंग अप फॉर दीस मैसेंजर्स इज सेइंग वाहम मुहतदून बाय द वे बस बोल दिया नहीं देयर इज अ रीजन व्हेन prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh started preaching uh, spreading the message we know that he was best at everything and in every relationship we know that right we we absolutely are. so prophets uh when they come they basically talk about making some kind of policy changes in society do you agree with me yahi karte hai na they want to make certain policy changes in the society but who else does that other than the prophets the rulers the leaders wo kya kaun hote hain politicians hote hain right so you will see new politicians doing exactly the same thing they would talk about you know making a, a better nation and making ourselves stronger we have to become a stronger country they really talk on pretty much on the same lines as the prophets did to a certain extent right and then you look at their personal lives aur kya dekhte hain what do you find you find corruption theek hai so they basically don't walk their talk their talk is very very high but their character generally speaking is very very low hai na acha uh, and by the way what is the reason for them to talk of, of such noble things jab character itna kharab hai why are they even talking about such noble things उनका उनका वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट क्या है दे वांट प्रेसिडेंसी दे वांट सम फॉर्म ऑफ कॉम्पेंसेशन दे वांट टू बी एक्सेप्टेड बाय यू नो द पॉपुलर द मासेस बिल्कुल ऑल ऑफ दिस एंड ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट इफ यू लुक इन देयर पर्सनल लाइफ्स व्हाट डू यू सी यू विल फाइंड दैट दे हैव ऑलवेज बीन अवे मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम बीइंग अवे फ्रॉम गाइडेंस होता है कि नहीं होता so when you see the prophets it's not just that the content is coming from allah subhanahu wa taala their talk is very very noble but their characters are also very very noble extremely noble and sab ek deen because the the message is perfect the and the messenger is clean hum bhi jab dekhte hain when you want to go and vote somebody wo khali baaton ko nahi dekhte then you see ke uska private life mein kya ho raha hai kya nahi ho raha hota hai ke nahi hota and this is a beautiful combination somebody can have right and that brings it to us to the third lesson and i think it's a very very powerful lesson for all of us if you are representing deen 
जल्दी से हाथ उठा के माई ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स एंड माई ऑन साइड स्टूडेंट्स बताओ हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग दी वाई नॉट तो हैंड्स दैट आर नॉट गोइंग अप उनकी शक्लें जो हैं दे आर रियली सैड दैट दे नॉट एबल टू रेज दे हैंड्स यही है ना ठीक है एंड यू बींग वेरी ऑनेस्ट अबाउट इट एज वेल so the first lesson for us is that we all have to represent the if i am a muslim how can i say i am a muslim but i don't represent the how can i how can i even do that does it make sense that i am a muslim but i don't represent the ye to bada problematic masla ho gaya na bahut we not talking about becoming prophets we not talking about becoming perfect but meri representation to a certain extent to honi chahiye na right so if you are representing the we just cannot afford to sin openly we just cannot do that now this doesn't mean ki darwaze ke piche i can do whatever i want to watch movies and do whatever back biting and you know that's not the point the point is that we have to work on selves and i would kind of add in something shaila ne bhi kuch baat aakhir mein ye ki thi you work on yourself but not first this goes hand in hand you keep preaching you keep representing yourself as a good muslim and you keep working on yourselves as well nobody can ever claim that you know now i am absolutely uh, ready i am absolutely proper enough to now represent the nobody can ever you have to be insane to say that nobody can do theek hai koi idhar hai koi idhar hai koi idhar that's understandable बट इट हैज टू गो हैंड इन हैंड यू कान से मैं जरा थोड़ी खुद ढंकी हो जाओ फिर उसके बाद में जो हूँ दूसरों को बताना नो इट डजेंट वर्क फॉर ऑल यू नो वेन यू टेल अदर पीपल इतनी शर्म आएगी उससे ओ माई गॉड हाउ कैन आई इवन टेल दम पांच वक्त की नमाज मैं खुद नहीं पढ़ रही होता है कि नहीं होता बट वी टेक एन ईजी वे आउट वॉट डू वी से अभी जरा मैं खुद पांच वक्त की नमाज पढ़ लू जो कि हो नहीं रहा और फिर बताऊंगी वो भी नहीं हो रहा राइट तो ये दो चार लोगों ने जो हाथ नहीं उठाए थे आई थिंक दे वेरी करेजियस टू यू नो दिस लाइक इट्स अ वेरी बिटर ऑनेस्टी फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस हम कोई भी काबिल नहीं है इट्स नॉट जस्ट देम दे जस्ट बींग लिटिल टू ऑनेस्ट विद सेल्स आप जो उठा रहे हैं या मैं उठा दूंगी इज बिकॉज प्रिंसिपली यू नो वट यू नीड टू डू एंड देर बींग वेरी एनालिटिकल अबाउट द होल थिंग दैट ओनली डिफरेंस वरना हाल सबका माशाला है राइट right? so we have to tell ourselves it's okay if i'm not perfect the, the next logical step is that if i and i have to i have to represent the i have to do the other work theek hai but along with that i have to work on myself kis muh se main bataungi bachcho ko kis muh se main kahungi jhoot nahi bolo back biting nahi karo jo mujhse khud hi nahi ho raha so what is the next logical step aap kare aur saath bole bhi taki aapko yaad rahe ki main ye jo bol rahi hu i'm not doing it sure What a beautiful example. ये कोई फर्स्ट बात भी नहीं है एंड यू टेल योर सेल्फ आई एम शेयरिंग एंड दिस इज फर्स्ट यू नो फॉर मी एंड ये नहीं है कि अब तो मुसीबत एक भी रोजा मैंने मंडे का थर्सडे का छोड़ा तो मैं तो आई एम हिपोक्रेट दैट्स नॉट हाउ इट वर्क आई मीन इट्स नॉट मैंडेटरी टू फास्ट ऑल द टाइम एंड यू शुड नॉट बी डूइंग इट बिकॉज फॉर पीपल आई दर but it is like a you know kind of like a thing if you why are you sharing it taaki dusre kar le aur main na karu think about it you're sharing it so pehle to main karu na this is one thing in which we must be very very selfish i have to make sure that i am winning this race in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa taala yahan pe kuch bhi log samjhe you have to ji i don't think i have like uh generally when you're doing something and you're uh you're doing something and people like that's exactly what i'm saying that you tell them even i'm struggling if you think that your struggle is you know you haven't even started this should not stop you from sharing something that is touching your heart for a first of all ask yourself why am i even sharing it because i want to have my presence on that group 
फिर तो काम ही खराब हो गया ना बट इफ यू आर डूइंग इट विथ ऑल सिंसेरिटी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट बींग सिंसेयर टू पीपल इन द नेक्स्ट आया इफ यू आर डूइंग इट फॉर सिंसेरिटी देन आई शुड बी सिंसेयर टू माई सेल्फ फर्स्ट बिफोर बींग सिंसेयर टू अदर पीपल right and you can of course if you think you that you are just beginning to do something and you can say you know uh, you know i'm 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 very seriously thinking about starting it as well ye bhi kiya ja sakta hai but it should be just for the sake of giving a disclaimer then you have to very seriously take that as well you know to is tarah se we have to understand wa hum muhtadun is very very important and how beautifully the scholars have explained you know that this is what it is actually talking about the third piece of evidence that he is sharing with the disbelievers that they are al muhtad so what are the three evidence just a quick rap, a recap number one was what they were al mursali meaning that they coming from allah subhanahu wa taala you better take them seriously the second was what they do not ask for any returns they're not doing it for your wah wah for you for your popularity neither are they scared of their own security and safety and their children so they are very brave they are very courageous people so you have to kind of like you know look up to them and understand they're not you know they're not uh, basically doing a, it as a favor to anybody and the third thing is that they surely walk their talk they surely walk it and um theek hai ab ye ho gaya ab coming to uh, i've got 5 minutes okay coming to aya number 22 wa maliya la abudul ladhi fatarani ilayhi ilayhi turjaun and why should i not worship him who has created me and to whom you shall be returned how amazing is it maine kuch cheezon ka highlight mai kar deti hu so that you know what's coming up and it's a very very important point that this man is making here he is saying two things number one he is sharing his own example first i se shuru hua na he is sharing his own and if i want to share my review about or my experience about something what is the best way of going about it for example and i want to kind of hold you back from going to a certain news at restaurant that they have opened up most powerful way would be review me ya kahin aur you write it down that you know i went to this restaurant the new the, the new restaurant in the town and guess what i had food poisoning and then you say please like you know don't go there right bahut powerful ho gaya na and of course this will have a very very powerful impact on the other person when you share your own story mai aap se kitni sometimes i feel you know uh, wo bhi cheeze aap logo se apni share kar rahi thi which should not be shared honestly and i think twice mai i mean do i need to kind of like prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what did he do aisha radhiyallahu anha ghar ki secrets husband wife ki closest privacy mein jo cheeze hoti hain she would come and share for the benefit of the so if your nia is to benefit people around you then of course you should share things with other people your experiences and all of that as i know here वॉकिंग दावा There is a story of a reverted Muslim somewhere in the West. He went to the grocery store to buy some tomatoes, and uh, this salesperson he weighed the tomatoes, and then in the end he put two extra in the in the bag. So he said, "Well, the state allows you uh, 
uh, a little bit of error here and there or 5% ka kuch hai so you're allowed by the state to do that you didn't need to put two extra tomatoes in my bag and he said well uh, the state allows me but my lord he doesn't so imagine what a powerful impact it would have on somebody you know that you're so conscious and i don't go by what the the rules are i go by the rules of the uh, rules given to me by the almighty um as again apni baatein share kar rahi hoti lekin baharal i just it had a very powerful impact on me when i heard this when i was doing my quran course and uh, one of my friends she later on told me that when i saw you started doing hijab in the class i said to myself she can do it i can do it too and i was like oh my god it's a big thing you know you don't realize you don't realize when you do something uh, you are having an impact on the other person right ji this is a bit of a question uh, i thought you were already a muslim islam and are you and you let me know it or not in one दूसरे and how would you gauge kya karna hai work on your intention why am i doing it i thought about it mai ye share karne wali hai ki nahi but i you know it, it had a very very powerful effect on me when i heard her saying that mai baad mein hans bhi rahi thi she must be thinking if you can do it i can do it to mai like itni mai pedal thi is like yeah ye jeans t-shirt wali kar leti to mai to kar hi sakti hu ji टू मी it made me understand that i have to, i have no choice but to become as proper as possible or abhi bhi slips kisse nahi hote we are all human beings but it keep, it keeps you on the you know on the right perspective you know that i can't afford to slip here and there keep us like parents what do we do we are full of force like in bachcho ke samne ek rakhte hain na apna so that's the thing um one last thing over here this i has started with i and ended on you what is i plus you we we so this we ho gaya na i plus u is v so basically what he's trying to say in this particular aya is that you know uh, uh, we're not separate guys we're together in it apni bhi misal de di unka bhi bata diya so it's not just my story neither it is all about you so i think it's a very powerful thing when you start with yourself and then kind of like you know rope in other people around you taki wo bilkul indifferent bhi na rahe ke oh ye to adam alai salam ka kisa have nothing to do with it you have to bring them to understand that there is some connection with your life and what the stories that have been talked about or or something somebody narrating something to you i'm sorry i have to stop stop here upar hi ho gaya time lekin inshallah i'm going to kind of like you know just quickly um, reiterate what have we've talked about in aya number 22 and move on so next class is your last class you know that inshallah taala right سبحان ربك رب العزه دي اما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اوكي يو جايز كان كاري اون ذس ون